Hello, happy reading. Um, I'm Darby G and I'm going to go over some of our brand new titles um, in the summer of 2016. And these ones that I'm going to show you are picture books or storybooks, I guess is a better way to say it. Um, so this is a collection of phonics stories. I don't know if you're familiar with our paperback phonics books that are um, actually you can get them library bound too, but they are singles. But this is a collection of them, which I like more because then you have several several stories and I think this has six there's six different books in there and they're fun just great silly goofy storylines and then the illustrations are vibrant and um, my, my my four and a half year old loves these like he loves them and when he's ready he can start reading these as well because they they follow the phonics um, path and the, the beginning I forgot to show you that it does come with a little forward about phonics and how um, it's important to teach them in the, uh, certain orders and so forth. So that is a great set to have. It's, we have Cow Takes a Bow and other tales as well if you like that format. And um, the Cow Takes a Bow is one we've had for a while. But anyway, Amelia Who Could Fly. This was probably one of the most anticipated books by consultants. Um, so this is the story of Amelia Earhart as a little girl. And um, if you don't know, she was the um well first of all i'll show you in the back they have facts about the um amelia Earhart. she was the first woman to cross the atlantic ocean flying solo in 1932 then um unfortunately she disappeared in 1937 while she was trying to do an around the world flight but let's talk about happy things so this is all about her when she was 10 and it's just a really great book for boys and girls alike who have that little inner explore um or curious curiosity it's just it's beautiful i do want to point out because some people might take issue with this there is a toy gun um that does say bam but this is this can be a learning experience to teach your child that it's a toy gun and um so it's not a child with an actual lethal weapon but um anyway so it beautiful illustrations like how awesome are these illustrations and it's just a really heartwarming story about um a girl who grows up to be somebody that we forever will talk about in history. Um, now, it, funny enough, this is another book about a girl who can fly, <clears throat> but it's um, more of a kind of a fantasy and like you can believe, if you believe you can do it, you can do it. Um, definitely a different style of illustration, but it's Cordelia. And you can get the Cordelia doll as well to accompany it. I actually have it somewhere because my son loves dolls and stuffed animals, but I couldn't find it before I did this video, so this will have to do. But it's just a really endearing tale, um, kind of like a <clears throat> modern day fable. Um, and no one believed her that she could fly and she gets sad. And then when she realizes that doesn't matter what other people think, she becomes she starts seeing in color again. Um, so kind of switching gears a little bit, this is a four pack of books. They're picture books of Christmas um, themed. This was the 12 Days of Christmas. How gorgeous. Each piece I feel like you could put on your wall. Um, and then it was the night before Christmas. We have several versions of the story. And now we get at another one, which I love because every single one has something a little different about it um, with either the language or the word choice. And I... Um, I, as an adult, love it, but my son loves the story, and my husband reads it every Christmas to him. So, A Christmas Carol, um, this one's probably a little bit more for a little bit of the older, but um, it's a great message to not be a Scrooge and appreciate what you have. And then a fun one with the Nutcracker. Um, I, this story, I believe, is in another, a couple of the other illustrated collections, but this is a really good little gift set. And then... Always a hit are these busy books. Um, this is not brand, brand new, um, but it comes back every time in time for Christmas and it sells out really fast. So if you're familiar with our busy books, these are books that it'll tell you, you lay the book flat, you might have to support the pages. And then when you get to the pages that have track, and it does have a little story that you can follow and things to talk about and things to see, um, you pull Santa back. And I always teach my son to hold the wheels. Um, it's a little harder to do on, on the um, Santa than the, than the other ones. This is hard to do one-handed, sorry guys. You put him on the page, and he just goes around and around and around. And there, oh, Santa's getting away from me. Um, there are four different tracks, and again, things to talk about, things to spot. Um, just a really fun thing to do, and I actually, um, got this and we had lost the Santa originally because my son 
didn't put this back on there. And so I got another Santa, and then we found the other one. So now he has an race. <laughs> um, but anyway, okay, another pack that we got are these four sets. Now, some people know these from, these have been around and as with Osborne before, but they just came back out. Um, gorgeous illustrations again. Each one goes over kind of a different type of weather. Um, very simple. It's not, it's not um, fact-based in terms of um, non, I wouldn't call these non-fiction. They're more fun stories, storylines kind of about facts, if that makes sense. Um, and that's a set of four. And then there's a snowy day. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then, what will Danny do today? I want to be honest, I almost didn't get this book because I was like, I, what? Why is this fun? Um, my four-year-old loved this. Check this out. This is a Kane Miller book. That's the publisher. Every page asks questions and they get to choose. What is he going to wear? So Weston picked out shoes, socks, and a hat, and he, um, he was going to leave without a shirt on. <laughs> anyway, um, what's he going to eat for breakfast? How is he going to get to school? And think, look at all these things. Like, you could ask, do you see a kid standing on his head? Um, do you see a carrot somewhere? That kind of stuff. It's just so cool. And you get to go through the entire day. And then at the end, um, which book is he going to read? And it shows that he's reading the same book that we're reading. Um, I highly recommend that. Cool thing, too, is those pages are thick. They're not just regular paper. So they're not quite a board book. Um, Albert and Little Henry. Finally, 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 we have a great book. And this is Jez Alborough. We have a couple other books by him that talks about a new baby in the family in a fun, cute way. Like, I will definitely be using this book if we ever have a second child. So essentially, the storyline is adorable. This 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 boy, oh my god, I'm totally blinking. Albert, yes, <laughs> this, this boy dog, Albert. Um, his parents love to hear the stories, his stories that he makes up, until he has a baby brother, and then it's all about the baby brother. And Albert begins to feel smaller and less important as time goes on. And then at the end, um, his mom gives him a book to write his stories, and he starts to feel big and important again. Um, and he tells the story of that there to everybody, and he starts to love his little brother. So it's a great, great way to introduce like the fact that your child might have to share you as parents, um, but that at the end, like the parents love both. So it's so, so cute. Thanks for joining, and happy reading.